most of us think that it's always got to be behind the pulpit and it's always got to be in words but sometimes your life your life is a testimony the way you live your life before people the way um you go out and tell others you know um sometimes you you don't have to talk but sometimes you show it somebody see the blessings in your life what's up my love bugs and love muffins is mama love welcome back to my channel it is sunday evening well i'm not gonna say it's not the evening yet but it's beautiful outside as y'all can see and i'm outside this tattoo shop because tina and terrell are getting brother and sister tattoos i know i know what y'all about to say they're at that age where they're gonna do what they're gonna do anyway stay money they can do what they do so but i'm gonna show y'all if they let me in i'm distracted out here because i can't believe how beautiful this day is so beautiful and y'all i'm hoarse a little bit because i whew, sunday service was so anointed and i praise god so to my voice is hoarse a little bit but that's all right he the one gave me the voice so i could lose it for him i use it and lose it for him so i'm about to take y'all in here and show y'all like i said if she let me um and see um so stay tuned so I'm walking in the building now, and here we go. I'm about to go back here. I don't know who went first or who went last, but this is the place. Back here getting a tattoo. This is the line 701, y'all. Her name is Shayla. What baby went first? Yeah. Darrell went first. Okay. So y'all see Terrell sitting here. Now clear up for a minute. And he being a big boy about it. So what you getting, Terrell? By the way, this is a tattoo artist right here. Her name is Shayla. Shout out to Shayla. Mm -hmm. at Salon 701, who is referred to by Keisha. Yeah. Tina and Terrell, y'all is getting matching tattoos. Look at this baby so far. What does it say on it? My sister's keeper. My sister's keeper. That don't hurt? Uh, okay. Uh, it's uh, sting. It's stinging. It's like a hot <laughs> they, they both getting the same tattoo. What? Huh? You scared? I know you ain't. No, I got a high pain tolerance right now. <laughs> yeah, you got a high pain tolerance. She barely cry about anything. Her yeah. state friend, know. brother from another mother, Miguel. <laughs> Mom, yeah. guess if he tried to get on his neck. What's that? Uh, a kiss. Yeah, like, a kiss? <laughs> He got a lips on his neck. He got lips on his neck. Some lips. Who kissing on your lips? <laughs> mm. Put some lips there. Some lips on your lips. All right. So both for Tina and Terrell, like I said. Come on. Getting the same tattoo. My brother and I'm what? My sister's keeper. Oh no, I'm my brother's keeper. I'm my brother's keeper. And he getting. I'm my sister's keeper. What about mama's keeper? None of y'all keeping me? Ain't nobody uh, keeping me? My tattoo's <laughs> special, mom. My tattoo's special? Yeah, you gotta get mama's by herself. Yeah. Yeah, my son <laughs> said he's gonna get a picture of me on his hand. I'm gonna pop his hand. He, gonna, <laughs> he wanna hit me with my pop his hand. He want me to hit myself. That was corny. I know. <laughs> yeah, so this is them. She's sitting there waiting patiently. How long this, this uh, you say about three hours? Yeah. Is that a half a hour and a half on each one? Yes, ma'am. So you do this. This is you. Oh uh, yeah, this is it. I do this and also a couple other things on the side. Okay. And shout out to Shayla, y'all. Like I said, and shout out to Darrell for sitting there for his first tattoo. It looks pretty good. I'm my sister's keeper. All right. I'm my sister's keeper and I'm my brother's keeper. Ten and twelve are like. The twins, y'all, they like two peas in a pot. And they argue, and but they close. They got the same friends. Uh, his friends is her friends. Her friends is his friends. They keep a very small circle. I can kind of like name their friends. What is it? Chris, Steve. Um, y'all know Chris is the top one. Uh, Steve, Miguel. Uh, all these ones that they came around when they was, you know, little kids and stuff. So, 
staying in the same neighborhood, but they all keep them same friends, y'all. And they just, when one's not around one, they start to miss each other. So this is the tattoo shop and this is what I'm doing, waiting up here for three hours. My hair looking all rough, that's all right. I'm going back outside. So y'all this beautiful day in Michigan. We are in, I'm gonna give her a shout out. We are in St. Clair Shores, y'all. That's where we at right now, St. Clair Shores. Look at this beautiful day. It feel about 70-ish out here. Um, I'm blessed and I'm grateful and I'm thankful and I'm, I'm just happy to know that uh, God is still in the blessing business. He's in the business of keeping us, protecting us and watching over us. I'm just so grateful and thankful for my children. I'm grateful that they're still here and they're still alive. We can't always beat our kids down. And you know, I'm learning this Christian walk, y'all. It's not all about, uh, the sun is crazy. It's not all the time about, don't do this, that's not holy. Don't do that, that's not holy. You know, it's not, a, it's not about sugarcoating the word of God either. You always gotta tell your kids the right and the wrong, you know? But at the same time, the Bible also says with love and kindness have I drawn thee. We gotta draw on with love. We can't always point the finger. If you want your ones, the loved ones to come to church, if you want any friends to come to church and you're a Christian, please do not. Do not undress them before they get to the door. We was just talking about this in service, discussing the fact of patience and temperance. I think a temperance I had to speak on, a topic on temperance. And I was saying, I used the example of being gentle. Uh, temperance is gentleness. Actually, it's next to patience. And um, it's just speaking on how to be, I use the example of taking your time, maybe with baby saints, when saints come in. Um, not even um, saints, they're not saints when they first come in, but you gotta be changed over on this side. Meaning, I always gotta put it in there, um, baptized in Jesus' name. Uh, well, fully repentant first, let me get that step in there. Fully repentance of your sins, um, baptized in the name of Jesus, and filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. And then you take your time and you become a baby saint. And as you're walking with a baby, um, that baby has to crawl before it walks. So, um, it's not going to, be eating meat like you eat meat. It's going to be drinking milk. So we have to baby those and not be rough with them before you run them back out in the church, out of the church and turn them back in the world. Meaning that also with your kids. You know, we all been in the same spot where our kids had been, where we was coming up and it was like, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't. Me, when I was coming up, um, I couldn't have posters on the wall. Back then, Prince was my thing. I couldn't have posters of Prince on my wall. And, you know, mama said they bring evil spirits in the house. And, you know, because we was under a safe household. So it was a lot of things I couldn't do as a teenager. And I didn't understand it. But I'm thankful to this day that my parents kept me under their rules because the Bible also says, train up a child in the way they should go. And when they grow old, they shall not depart. Now, my kids is here getting some tattoos. But it didn't, doesn't mean I didn't train them up in the way they should go. You know, they know what way to go. But Tana turned 18, Terrell turned 17, they figured, well, you know what? They're gonna do it anyway. I remember it was a time where Queen came and asked me because she have a tattoo, and I was like, eh, no, scripture in there where you ain't supposed to be marking your body and all of this, blah, blah, you know? But when Queen got of age, Queen went and got them tattoos that y'all could see them, she, they fully blown on her, you know what I'm saying? But, like I said, but that does not mean, you know, yes, he would like for us not to do that, but I, I don't think that that's going to, um, well, matter of fact, I know it's not going to keep you out of heaven. You know, you can live right, walk up right, do all the procedures and steps of being saved. And uh, you got a tattoo on your arm. So I know you did all the good works for me, but you got a tattoo so you can't get in. So I don't think and look at it like that. We just got to take our time and use wisdoms. I say wisdoms. Y'all hear what I say? <laughs> use wisdom when it comes uh, to the word of God. The word of God says to be wise as a serpent, serpent, wise as a serpent, but harmless as a dove. And when we out here reaching the lost, I'm saying about my kids because we're reaching the lost and baby saints that's inside the church that we have to be real careful with 
but we don't want to run them away. We don't want to be so quick to offend them. Um, we want to um, keep them in. And so with your children, I say this, charity starts at home and then spread abroad. How you going to tell somebody out? a baby saying something or anybody on the street you ain't told your own kids you got to show your own kids love also at home it starts first and then it spreads abroad and then the bible scripture also says um it, whether it, it's better to have a millstone round about your neck and drowned it into the depths of the sea to offend any of these little ones. And now he's not literally talking about little children, but he's he's talking about the baby in Christ, the babes in Christ. We want to be careful not to offend baby saints. Woe to these from whom these offenses come. You know, and I can hear my bishop saying, you need to be backing this up with some scriptures. And I'm going to put those scriptures on at the end of this video because um, he be teaching us that quoting all these scriptures and he was like and if you don't know where they coming from then hey, you just quote scriptures better know where they coming from so yeah I'm gonna put them in the end of this video the scriptures that I've used um I just want to say to y'all that God is good and like I said I'm thankful um I'm at peace um thank you for all y'all encouraging words with the last video um of depression uh, when I was talking about depression is real I'm thanking y'all Thank y'all for y'all love and support. Always, always I thank y'all for y'all love and support. And um, I be so busy um, a lot of times. And I said that because I know I don't get back to you um, a lot of times like I need to. Like I'm talking about even um, uh, hurting my, my comments. And, and you know, I may not can, can answer every comment, but I'll always leave a, um, a message, a comment saying I thank you all and I appreciate you all because best believe I do see every love and comment that y'all leave me and I am truly grateful for you all and just like you keep me up in prayer with so many saints on there and you all that was keeping me in prayer on my channel on, on the video and left in the comments and stuff I just want to tell y'all I'm praying for y'all as well and I thank and praise you guys so much I thank and praise God for you all so much um for allowing the Lord to speak to y'all because that's what happened you know those those words were very encouraging and like I said I'm just out here and I'm waiting on them like I said it take about three hours so I thought you know what let me get a video in so this is how we looking beautiful Michigan weather and I'm thanking God I don't know not sure I believe the time goes back tonight it's that hour Missing an hour of sleep. I ain't gonna know how to act about that, y'all. I just want y'all to know that. Stay blessed. God is still in control. As long as he's sitting on that throne. He ain't cracked that sky and came back. There is still breath in your body. That you still got a chance. Still got a chance to get it right with God, y'all. Because like I said, he is coming back. I'm going to talk about him. This is an inspirational channel. I'm always going to talk about Jesus. He is my father. He is everything to me. And he has always been there for me. And he keeps on doing great things for me. Okay, so it is about what time is it? Uh, 11.10. 11.10. It's 11.10 and we got here at 5 o'clock. We're still here at the tattoo shop. And they are now finished. And here are the results of their tattoos. So Terrell has on his... I my, my, my sister's keeper. Mm -hmm. That's his tattoo, and hers is still kind of wrapped. And hers says, "My brother's keeper." That's too bad. That's wrapped. Okay, but we can't. I got some pictures to post at the end of this video. So next time I'm gonna I'm tattoo across here. Uh -huh. Okay, <laughs> get a tattoo on and say, "I'm my kid's keeper." No. God is my keeper. No, I ain't gonna put nothing on me. But, um, so yes, it's 11.10. We got work in the morning. Wow. And we lost the hour already. So, yeah. Peace out in Jesus' name. Be blessed.